Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're in a new setup and that's because I have been working on getting into my new office. I've been working on this for a while now um, and it's still in the works, but I'm trying to get my setup good to go uh, so I can start kind of working out of here. I'm in the suburbs now of New York City, which is amazing. Uh, and it's an unreal office. So when I do finish it, you guys will get a tour. We'll do some sort of like maybe YouTube video or stream for it. Um, there's a lot to work still. There's a lot of work still to go. Um, and I'm not streaming today because I'm dedicating my time and effort to finishing this damn thing. Um, but yeah, so guys, I'm super scuffed right now as well because one of my monitors is not working. I'm basically trying to have two different setups ready to go. Um, so I have two places to kind of work out of, which is the dream. Uh, but at the moment, one of my monitors I thought was going to work is not working. And then now I've basically got to order probably like half of this setup that I have and duplicate it so I can have, you know, both setups good to go. But anyways, um, I was not planning on filming any content today, but I wanted to use this almost as like a little bit of a test video. And I saw on Twitter that we did actually have, uh, we have a brand, brand new guys, um, uh, Foot Champs Rewards. So I want to check those out and kind of go over those because I think it was leaked and rumored a little bit that we were going to be getting Foot Champs Rewards and they have updated them. And tomorrow is also going to be uh, the start of Footies, which is kind of like um, a really fun promo. It's a fun time of the year for FIFA. Uh, kind of gets people to log on and vote. I actually didn't even do my vote from yesterday, so we'll check that out. And sorry about the mic. I'm using a different mic. Uh, this one is probably not as good, but still very good considering I used to stream on a blue snowball, guys, for years, man. So this one will do. It's a uh, it's a nice mic. It's just not as good quality as the other one I have. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to check all this stuff out, guys. Again, if you enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. We're getting that video up. I'm trying to test this out, uh, and we'll be adjusting some things as we go. Hopefully good to go for a stream uh, tomorrow. So let's go ahead. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the new Foot Champs rewards. Um, I haven't even qualified still, so I still have to get around to doing that. I guess I had some rivals rewards, which I don't even know how because, well, I feel like I didn't really play rivals. But yeah, okay, so we'll have some packs for this video as well, which is great. Um, that never, ever, ever hurt anybody um, to have. So let's go back to Foot Champs now and let's take a look at the uh, Foot Champs rewards. Now, also, I'm going to have to like tab out and in on one monitor of my PC, guys. So I'm sorry if you have to see my software that I'm streaming out of. Um, so we now have Shapeshifters available, which is really interesting. So you can get one of two Shapeshifters slash Team of the Season, Max 92 uh, for rank 10, I guess. Um, let's look at the ranks that are going to be a little bit more important. So a very low effort rank would be rank, I think this is seven. Uh, and for this, you still have a max of 92, but there's four slots. So... For rank six, you get a one of three 92 plus shapeshifter or top five leagues team of the season. Um, now, this was th this is actually this is like I think this is like nine wins. I think this is 11. Um, I'm pretty sure this is 11. But for 11, you get two reds, 92 plus, you get one of three. Um, this is going to be 14 wins. So it's a 90 plus shapeshifter and top five leagues team of the season. I'm kind of happy they updated this because. Champs was just feeling like super, super dead to play. So whether or not this is like a very relevant change, I can't tell you for sure this is like amazing, but at least it's something different. Um, and I think it'll get a lot of people to play at least one weekend. You know, whether or not people play past that, because I think everybody's going to kind of test out and see how these rewards are this weekend, uh, including myself. I definitely will. But then after that, if they're not that good, you know, they're not that good. Now, the, the catch here is obviously, guys, one of four 92 plus you don't just get shapeshifters. So I think that EA have been a little bit... Look, you guys could think I'm negative. I think they've been a little stingy here, and here's why. We just had an SBC come out uh, yesterday, which was the 1 of 4, 93 plus. Now, in this SBC, we did like 15 of them. You guys probably saw them on the channel, at least 15 to 20, and we didn't really get anything. Like, we didn't get anything super crazy. I mean, the top tier polls was like Elshar. Um, so out of those, we didn't really get anything nuts. So I'm a little confused why EA are still including Team of the Seasons because, to be fair, shapeshifters... All of those players pretty much have better versions than their own team of the season. So I'm not a huge fan of this, especially with the rating being 92 and not 93. I just don't understand why EA didn't go ahead and do shapeshifters. There's only a month or two left of the game. So I do think it's a little bit better. Again, it's kind of like the patch that just came out this week. It's an improvement, but it's not really where we need to be yet. Um, and this is obviously, this is 14 wins. So let's see if 16, 18, and you know 19 are a little bit more worth playing to. So 16, you unfortunately still have the same uh, red requirement. But you do have a 92-plus shapeshifter, uh, top five leagues team of the season, and hero 
uh, which is really interesting. So you can get, I, apparently in the previous ones, you probably can't get a hero, but in this one, you can get a hero. So obviously Dempsey and Freddy are going to be a little bit more common. The Rickon, those ones are going to be way more common than others, but it is kind of nice how you're going to still have that chance, I guess, to get like a Ginola, a Betty Pele, Di Natale, a Cordoba. So that's pretty nice. Um, and that'll bring some supply to the market. So hopefully for the rest of the year, those cards aren't kind of like drifting too high in price and getting out of control. That's what I hope, at least. I mean, you never really know what's going to end up happening, but that's that's at least what I hope. Um, then for 18 wins, which is like ultra sweat. If you're getting 18 wins at this time of the year, you are one hell of a FIFA player and you're very passionate um, for this this used to be, I think, like one of five team of the season uh, from top five leagues. And then the pack used to be, I think, one um, three-player pack from top five leagues. So the pack is the same as 16 wins, but you get an extra slot compared to 14 and 16 wins. Again, you know, is it worth it? It could be. It could be, right? It could be. And we'll take a look at some things in a minute. And then for rank one, you get three picks. Did they change the pack? Unfortunately, they didn't change the pack. So, you know, I think it's, I think it's a pretty much the same um, as before, you get a rating minimum now, which is nice. You'll eliminate a lot of the, the lower tier team of the seasons, and then you're also going to get one of five, and then obviously all shapeshifters available. I don't think we, you know, we're going to kind of have to see how the first weekend league goes. I don't think you can get heroes from the picks in any of the ranks. I think that you can only get heroes from the tradable packs uh, from 16, 18, and uh, 19. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I, I think it's good that they're changing their rewards. Um, I will say that. I think I have no problem with EA changing the rewards. Like, go for it. Um, I respect it. C you guys should come and, you know, on my other monitor real quick. Let's just take a look real quick. I know that it just showed there. Um, and let me just make sure that this is the right screen. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So, I mean, I think something that we should look at here is if we go with rating minimum, right? So, we're going to go 92 here. And then uh, we're going to look at shapeshifters, right? Now, I don't think I can put all of the options available. I think it kind of replaces one for another. But if we look at shapeshifters that are all actually 92 plus, you've pretty, you've pretty much got every single shapeshifter available, which is why I am a little confused why EA are still including team of the seasons because there's not many shapeshifters that are not 92 plus. Like if we went ahead and actually looked at who is less than 92, yes, there's some that are lower rated and not expensive, but it's maybe like four or five that are actually on the market so i think the 92 plus could be a little bit deceiving there um and then in terms of team of the season obviously it's going to be top five leagues the first page three pages that's about 90 players so you'll probably have in team of the season if you're going to talk top five leagues you know eliminating a lot of these other leagues four pages on footpin uh three and a half pages on footpin is about 110 players so i would assume that probably like 30 to 40 of these players are going to be outside the top five leagues so you're probably looking at 50 to 60 team of the seasons that are about 92 plus um, in the top five leagues. Um, and then uh, obviously in terms of heroes, most of the heroes are all 92 plus. The only hero that's not 92 plus is Rickon, um, but the rest are. So you'll, you'll get rid of the cheapest one. I guess what you could say is a positive, um, but it'll be really interesting. I mean, I think at the end of the day with these upcoming rewards, what I think is a positive that, that we could all take away here is that the the ceiling is really high like in terms of what you can actually get it is pretty nice i feel like the ceiling is high i think the largest variable in all of this is always going to be what's the pack weight right what it what are ea coming out and saying is the pack weight i think that's really what is going to be the largest variable now yesterday we had a footies weak foot vote i'm actually recording this video before 1 p.m guys i'm not gonna do a post 1 p.m video today um but i believe that Havertz is most likely going to win because ea have kind of done it how they did it at one time previously where they actually don't give you loans for the vote. They give you the fodder. So I think a lot of people are going to go ahead and take the uh, 84 for Havertz. Um, I'm going to vote Diaz, guys, because I think Diaz would be a cool card to get. Um, I, you know, I'm probably going to get a little bit of a German there, but I just want to vote for Diaz. I think Havertz is going to win. I think Bisaka probably has no chance, but I think the, I think Diaz could be cool with a five-star weak foot. I think that EA needs to boost the heck out of Havertz or Diaz, whoever wins. It's probably going to be Havertz. They got to make his card insane man because i just think that with the shapeshifters promo and kind of everything that's happening is starting to come into the game it, it it's gonna have to be a player that's significantly unreal right so i, I hope that they don't just give a five-star weak foot and you know we're, we're sitting there looking at a five-star weak foot and the, the guy is hardly usable so hopefully they make his card really crazy um i still think kind of it, it is hard that's a nice pull of fabinho it is hard at this time of the year for them to make like everybody usable because i think ea 
made the power curve so high with shapeshifters. Everybody's been complaining on Twitter that pretty much if you don't have a shapeshifters card, it's not really that good. And I agree with that. And I think that's why I actually just had a critique of the rewards saying, what are team of the seasons doing here? Because most shapeshifters blow any team of the season out of the water. So that was a little bit of a concern that I have with the rewards, but I'm definitely going to play this week and I'll probably try to get at least 14 so we can get the pack and see what's going on there. Um, and especially because my account needs coins. You guys can see right now I have 100,000 coins, which is just absolutely horrendous. Um, we basically have just been sending a bunch of SBCs doing anything and everything on this account. And uh, I actually don't have 100K. I have a little bit more. I have like 500K. The, the issue is I bought Cahill yesterday to try out on my team, and then I did not sell him. So I'm going to have to go ahead and sell him today. Um, last 100K back. Can we get a walkout? We did. We only got Fabinho. And this time it's probably going to be, I think that's Busquets. So... Nothing too crazy, guys, out of our packs. We did get a couple walkouts there, which is nice. Um, and then in terms of SBCs, I did the SBC yesterday, guys. So I don't really have anything on this account to really go ahead and send right now, guys. I mean, I've got a couple store packs, but nothing sig significant or anything uh, that you guys really want to go ahead and see. Yesterday, they did release Correa's SBC. I mean, whether or not you guys care too much about this. The interesting thing for me is, like, how is EA going to make Havertz or Diaz comparable or better than this card? And that's what I'm a little worried about because Correa comes in at not the craziest price, being 83, 85, 87. He's got really good links with Atletico Madrid, and he's just got a crazy card. He's high low with five-star weak foot, five foot seven. And we all know if we played a game in the beginning of the year, Gold Correa was crazy, man. This guy was so good. So this card should be really good, especially with the flare trait. It is going to have to take a lot for EA to release one, some of these footies cards to be better than some of the cards that we are getting. So I know I didn't really talk about that card yesterday, but it, that's a sensational, sensational card um, that EA have kind of gone ahead um, and uh, and released there. And then other than that, I mean, in terms of swaps, just for you guys on the channel, we, we sent the 83, uh, we sent the 80, 84, and the 85. In terms of, like, what we do have left, I'll probably end up just getting the Shapeshifters player pick. I know that EA yesterday put two more tokens in objectives. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'll am i probably end up doing those at some point. Right now, you know what? Right now, we actually have enough, I think, to actually go ahead and just do a Shapeshifters player pick. So, these are one of three. I'm not really expecting this to be too good, but I think 15 is a bit too much of a grind for me. So just for you guys, man, in terms of like just doing some content, you guys know, man, I'm trying to keep you guys on the channel, whatever we're doing, like super entertained. Um, and this year we are just living for the send as cringe as, cringe as that sounds. So we'll go ahead. We'll do this real quick. And depending on how this is, maybe we'll do the 8225 after this, even though I think it's not going to be good. I think it's not going to be good. Um, so, yeah. And also, let me know if you guys... Uh, on Twitter are planning on taking any of the crazier options. Yesterday, we did a 94-plus Icon Moments player pick, and it was crazy. All right, it was out of this world, man. It was so good. We got Ronaldinho for somebody. So here we go. One of three. Please be good. Okay, well, this is an interesting one. Now, it's not good. Um, Atal is a good pull. I don't love him in-game. Now, I'm going to take a tall, guys, because, and David Silva, I did just try out the other day. I'm going to take a tall here just for the reason, listen, that I have a tradable at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cash out on this because my account really needs help. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cash out, guys. I'm going to sell that at all, grab another 200K so we can do a send. And we're going to do a cheeky little 8225. I'm going to be honest. We're probably not going to get a walkout. I'm not even feeling like we're going to get a walkout here. But we will uh, We will go for it. And uh, the fodder has been really useful in my club. So I'm not going to super complain here. The fodder has been really, really, really good for my club recently. Um, so for that reason, we're just going to hope we can get a couple walkouts here. I may end up getting a lot of dupes here just because I just opened like 400k packs. And we got a bunch of 86, 85s. But... Hopefully a couple high rated here. Hopefully we get to see a green flare for you guys, man. I didn't get a green flare out of my anything other than my 8520s. So can we get lucky? All right, we got Howland. Now there is like a 2% chance that we have a shapeshifter hero sitting behind this. I doubt it. But there's like a, oh, two walkouts. You know what? That's not bad. Two walkouts for one token. We will take it. And no, we did not have anything sitting behind it. A couple 84s in there as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the video. So the plan is, guys. Hopefully, you're going to be streaming from here tomorrow. I need to find another working monitor, and I have to get uh, a another quarter or two to get things set up. 
Um, so the plan is I'm hoping to be out of here tomorrow working. And then hopefully I think I'm going to try to do a stream on Sunday now with the new uh, Foot Champs Rewards because uh, they look a little bit better. I think Sunday we might actually play some champs. And the uh, FIFA Grand Finals is on Sunday. So I want to do a watch along. Hopefully EA is not too stingy. Like, hopefully they're not copyright striking people just for doing a watch along. I'm really hoping that that's not the case, but EA is going to do EA. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.